Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Anna Christina. Today's story is Chris the Caterpillar. Are you ready? There once was a fairy called Butterfly. She had the most amazing multicoloured wings, just like a butterfly. She lived in a tree at the bottom of a garden near a rock, and her job was to help the plants and flowers grow. One day she noticed the old shed door was open, so she wandered over to take a closer look. She discovered a sad-looking caterpillar sitting in the dark corner. She stepped closer. What's your name? The caterpillar looked up with watery eyes and said, My name's Chris. What's wrong, Chris? said the fairy. I want to be a butterfly and fly in the sunshine instead of crawling in darkness searching for light. But nobody can change me into a butterfly with wings as colourful as yours. Maybe I can. I'll need some help from my friends, said the fairy. And you'll have to come into the garden. I'll do anything you want, said Chris. So the fairy flew back into the garden to call on her friends. Friends of the garden, I call you now. The red rose, Hello. the blue bell, Hello. the yellow sunflower, Hello. the white lily, Hello. the purple daffodil Hello. and the evergreen ivy oh, all gathered around. With her magic wand, the fairy took a tiny splash of all the colours and then her wand began to glow. But Chris does not believe in magic. Nobody can give me colourful wings. The fairy said, Come out of the darkness and step into the light. She waved her magic wand and all the colours sprinkled onto the caterpillar's head. Suddenly Chris was transformed into a beautiful, colourful butterfly. All the flowers danced around in joy and the fairy sung out, Now fly! Hi! Into the sunshine! Into the sky! Chris spread his wings and looked in surprise. Mm -hmm. Off he flew, higher and higher, out into the sunshine! Yahoo! Flowers cheered. Chris had finally become what he'd always dreamed of being a colourful butterfly. And with his new wings glistening in the sun, he gently fluttered back down into the garden. Thank you, friends of the garden. Thank you, fairy. I'll always look after the flowers and bring beauty to the garden. Now I believe in magic. But what Chris didn't know was that one day he would have become a butterfly anyway. Ah, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed my story and I'll see you on the next Story Time with Anna Christina. Bye.